A Tennessee congressman says he has concerns about license plate readers in the Great Smoky Mountains. Representative Tim Burchett sent a letter to the National Park Service detailing the potential concerns of following our story about the existence of those cameras. 10 News investigative reporter Grace King joins us from the National Park with those concerns. License plate readers can capture a lot of data, like the kind of car you drive, where you're going, and when you pass them. Those are just some of the reasons Congressman Burchett has concerns. I think it's a huge overstep by our park service to have a um, apparatus in the parks that would literally, I think, invade people's privacy. In a letter to the National Park Service, Representative Burchett wrote it's alarming that they may soon collect extensive personal and private information without folks knowledge or consent. He requested answers to a number of questions like what prompted the park to pilot the cameras and who has access to the information. There's just no place for it. In January, the Park Service told us the license plate readers are part of a pilot program. They said they're testing to see if they have the connectivity and power to support the equipment. If it does work out, they'd see if the data helps with issues like overdue hikers or requests from other agencies. It's out of control. It, it, there's no need in it. And um, I just I just don't see it. After our first story ran, the National Park removed the license plate reader near the Sugarlands Visitor Center. I would like them to be thrown out, taken out, and never see the light of day again. It's just room for abuse. As of last week, the one in Townsend was still there. We've asked why, but have not yet heard back. In the Great Smoky Mountains, I'm Grace King.